All right, so this is a continuation of our composer tutorial. And obviously, if you want to use Bedrock as your WordPress boilerplate, then you need to also install your composer as your dependent. And I actually told you earlier on my previous video that I wasn't going to create a tutorial for the Bedrock and local flywheel because we PCAS already did a great tutorial for that but since it is like three years ago tutorial there are some outdated ui and process that i think we need to refresh so um if you can see in here actually let me open the testing WordPress and flywheel. If you're going to click that, um, I have successfully um, run the bedrock WordPress and here is like how I did it. So yeah, I'm going to walk you through how did I configure that. Um, obviously, we need to have a local flywheel um, and also a Visual Studio Code as our IDE and you also need to install a composer as well. Um, just check on my tutorial to if you don't have, you haven't installed the composer yet. Okay, so first is you go into local flywheel. Feel free to skip it if you've already done that or familiar with a flywheel. So just go in flywheel flywheel local and then you install the flywheel that click that one and then you should have this local flywheel like this one uh, once you already installed the flywheel and okay let me just stop that one and we'll create a fresh wordpress website and then install a bedrock after so click on plus icon and click on continue and then let's say testing three um you can also use your existing wordpress website let me know if you want to create a you want me to create a tutorial for that or you need help for me to you need help to configure just use on my link description below to book a call so anyway so click on testing i'm gonna name that testing three um we're good on that actually got some yeah we'll be using We'll be using Nginx, so we will be using um, updated at least 1.1 Nginx database, my SQL, of course. Yeah, updated my SQL, then continue. Call that test, test, and then yeah, I think so. WordPress is already installed, but like the goal is we want to use Bedrock as our WordPress boilerplate. So what I'm going to do is open our Visual Studio Code. We can use an empty Visual Studio Code in here. And then let's open again the flywheel. I'm going to go into the Go Site File Manager folder. So here is the three folders that we need to move into our Visual Studio Code. So basically, um, he, the public that HTML where all the WordPress is um, installed and then this config is about the mysql the ngx and php and then logs is we encounter if we encounter some issues we can check it on the logs folder so i'm going to drag this over in here i'm going to open that actually i can just drag it the testing three this one put that on the visual studio code and then um we need to run a a composer again you need to install a composer to make the bedrock work so if we go into the bedrock documentation bedrock documentation and bedrock bedrock documentation here by the way i'm going to create a tutorial for this one um, for your reference as well article version so here um, you need to install a composer and then you need to run this script into your terminal. So I'm going to open my terminal in Visual Studio Code, click on new terminal, and then I need to go to the app folder. So click on CD app folder. So if we're going to run ls, there is a one folder called public. 
So we're good on that. I'm going to install the um, the bedrock inside the app folder. So if we're going to install that. So once the bedrock is already installed, we can then configure the site config in, in nginx so go into the config folder and go into nginx folder and then go into the site config folder now this is where um wpcast like as i said it's a little bit outdated because his process is um is not applicable right now so that's why i decided to come up with a tutorial so you need to first is let's just stop the Let's just stop the local first, stop that, because we will be editing our Nginx, so let's just stop our, our local. And then under on the site config.hbs, again, it's also different on WP, WCAST tutorial. It's not site site.config.hbs, it's, it's a different file, so but it's almost like identical. And then in here as well, and instead of using this variable, um, we need to use the we need to use the absolute URL into your local computer where you can find that. So just go into the site local, then click on go site folder, and then go into the up, go into the bedrock, and then go into the web. So this is where our WordPress is installed. So instead of using the variable root, you need to get the absolute URL. That's how it works right now. So just grab that and then go in here. Let's replace it with an absolute URL. And of course, you need to replace it with the right um, with the right um, path. And if you're using Mac, I think it's also a different way. It's something like that bracket instead of this one. Okay. So once you've already configured your root into your site, um, dot config dot HBS, we can then go into our dot ENV. So go back to the bedrock and go into the ENV. Um, in my case, I don't have a dot ENV. I do have a dot ENV dot example so you can copy paste you can duplicate that or just simply rename it if you want to have a hard cup if you want to have a backup then feel free to duplicate it and and have an env version so in my case like i, I just wanted to have an env so um okay so once so just rename the env example and then in here we're gonna change the d D database name database username the password and the other stuff so um okay in here you can see that under the database tab in your local flywheel so our database name is local username is root and the password is root so i'm gonna change that here it's called local and then this one is root and then this one is root and so the local host as well, you can remove the hashtags and move that over in there. And then lastly, for the ENV environment, you need to replace that with your current um, site link. So you can see that under the overview. And then this one, so I'm going to copy that. And then put it in here. And, and then in here as well, just copy that over. And don't forget to put a WP extension as a subdirectory because this is where um, the other core WordPress will be installed once we generate the composer. So HTTP and then, okay. So again, you just need to to update your site config and then your ENV and then you should be good to go. So once it's already updated, we can then just simply remove the public because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to open it and we should be good to go, I believe. Here we go. So everything works great. If we go into WP, WP admin. Oh, 
Oh, it's not working. Um, it's WP. Why it's not working? Let me open the local flywheel. Oh, it's just go to the WP. I just need to change it. So yeah, that's how it goes. Right, and test and test. And voila. So that's how you can easily fix it. Oh, by the way, you just need to remove the public that HTML already forgot. So remove the public HTML because we don't need that. So if I run again, just want to make sure that we are using the bedrock folder. So I'm going to run that. And then if I open it, we are good to go. So yeah, that's how it works, guys. Um, let me know if you have any question. I'm happy to assist you. I